Hello friends, I made a cape waving tutorial in 3D Studio Max and now I've made one for Blender for those who are Blender users and I'm using Blender 3.2. Here is an animated character from 3D Studio Max and Dash Studio. The cape is not connected to the character so the first step is we have to connect it. Make sure to set the timeline to the beginning of the animation. Move the cape to where it should be on the character. Next, we have to select the bones that are animating the character. Now select the mesh on the chest and the hero mesh and click H to hide them to reveal the bones. This hero has a lot of bones, so make sure to select the bones that are responsible for animating the character. Now go to the object mode on the upper left and select pose mode. Select the spine bone. Now click back to object mode. Now click on the cape, then hold shift and click on one of the bones that is animating the character. All the bones are now selected. Now go to the upper left and change from object mode to pose mode again. Now click control P and scroll down to bone to link the cape to the bone. Now if you scroll through the timeline, you should see that the cape moves with the figure. If you want to choose another bone to link to, click Alt P to break the link and clear the parent. In this case, we'll keep it. Now go back to object mode. Click Alt H to unhide the meshes. Now I'm going to hide the bones by clicking on the eyeballs in the scene collection so we can see better the next steps. Now we have to change the cape to a cloth object. Click on the cape. Go to the physics properties on the side and select cloth. Now we have to pin the cape to the body. Go to the object mode on the top left and select edit mode. Holding shift, select the top vertices of the cape. Hold control to deselect. In the Object Data Properties panel on the right in the Vertex Groups, click the plus sign in the Vertex Groups. A group is created. Double click to rename it Cape Pin. Click Assign. Click out of Edit Mode back to the Object Mode on the top left. Back to Physics Properties tab. Scroll down to Shape. Select Pin Group. Select Cape Pin that we just created and set the stiffness to 0.5. Now select our hero. Go to the Physical Properties and select Collision. If you press play on the timeline, you'll see that the cape is interacting with the character. The final step is to add wind. Go to add on top. Scroll down to force field, then add wind. Place the wind in the proper position. Now in the wind properties, set the strength to 25,000.
If you press play, you will see the wind have an effect. To make the cape smoother, you can go to Modifier Properties and add a Subdivision Modifier. Once you like everything, go to Physical Properties and click Cache, then click Bake. Now you can add lights and cameras and render out as normal. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.